Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Jonathan David card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card who is five foot ten, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills, five star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, he has the outside foot shot traits and the solid player traits. Here's the thing about this card. He was actually extinct earlier today. He was extinct at like 130k, which was kind of crazy. Definitely kind of crazy, but uh, they actually updated his price pretty quickly because uh, usually it takes them a while, which is, to be honest, pretty annoying. But this year, or not this year, but this uh, this promo, they actually updated him pretty quickly. So I do appreciate that. But this card is going to be working with 95 acceleration, 91 sprint speed for base card stats. Okay. Base card stats. So is it a finisher for him? A basic doesn't look too terrible for him because he is going to be a physical type striker. Five, five, five. Huh. What's he on a finisher? Ooh, that balance boost. Ooh, the dribbling boost, too. Ooh, shot power boost. Finishing to a 99. Is that the one people are going for? An engine. Engine wouldn't be bad either, actually. I think that one would make the most sense for the review. Because we can test out base card stats for shooting as it is. Because it's not a card you're going to take long shots with that often. And if you give him a finisher, you can't touch long shots anyway. So it's more like inside the 18-yard box, five-star weak foot finishes kind of thing, you know? Okay. I'm not completely against this, actually, especially with the five-star weak foot. Yeah, so we'll try him out on an engine chemistry style. Actually, no, let's try him on the basic, because the basic actually gives him some pretty decent stuff. Sprint speed, shot power. It gives him a little bit of dribbling, a little bit of passing as well. Yeah, I'm going to use him on a basic. Let me try that out first. Base card stats for passing for a striker, pretty decent as well. So you don't really have to look at that too much, which is awesome. Dribbling we will be experimenting with in-game because with David, he is a player who is 5'10 with an average body type. Uh, I usually don't mind that as long as he's playing in a two-striker formation. Usually that's like the go-to when it comes to cards like this. Uh, so it should be okay. Uh, dribbling, again, we will be experimenting with. Heading accuracy is at a 92 for the height that he has. 95 for stamina to work with a high, high work rate. And then he also has 85 for strength to work with his body type. I can see why the card was extinct. I mean, 130k is way too low for him. Way too low. But yeah, guys, we're going to be using him in two different formations because I have been enjoying Viperalization's 4 2 and 2 tactics, although not great for the meta of the game, you know, because of people doing through balls and law passes. Super, super fun to use. Uh, 4 2 and 2 in the right striker position. And then we're also going to be using him in the 4 2 3 1 as the lone striker as well. So yeah, we'll try him out. Hopefully, he's a beast. First time. Ooh. With El Greening as well, eh? It's good to test with El Greening. Good shot cancels. Got a nice little time finish on his five star weak foot. Yeah, that came off nice. That was great. By the way, I saw people complaining about the car design on Twitter and stuff. I don't know why. How can you complain about this car design? It's crazy nice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You gotta, you gotta make it up for me, Bo. No, come back. I'll trigger. Oh, he flies, dude. <laughs> Oh, I kind of I kind of felt like because he has like a, a good physical presence, maybe just cross the ball to him, get a header. But I think at the timing there, right? Oh. It was a good shot, too. I didn't even time that correctly, but not bad. No timing? Oh, yeah. That's nice, man. You, you see that little, like, animation that he does to shoot the ball, too? Look at this. That animation is the best, bro. I'm telling you. When they do that, it's so good. Way too much power. I didn't even try to time that. I just wanted to kind of, like, feel out the shot a little bit, you know? Some cards have, like, crazy shooting where you put more power in it, but they just snipe the ball. It's insane. Once you get a feel for it like one or two times, like you got a you got a good idea of what it's gonna be like. 
Ooh, nice shot again. This is without a chemistry style for shooting. Like, it's just working with base card stats. Close to the goalkeeper. Great finish. Nice. I'm not even timing these, bro. Oof. Maybe that would have been, like, completely to the side there, eh? Who knows? I have to. <laughs> On a white. So that's just a regular strike. Just a regular strike there. Nice. Well done. Great goal. Oh! <laughs> I think he chipped it afterwards. I'm trying to, like, switch. That's why. On a white, too. Not bad. He's actually facing a 45 away from the goal, too. Crossbar, too much power on that. Uh, not bad. Five-star weak foot finesse from outside the 18. You're not really going to take much strikes outside the 18, let's be real. You are going to do that, though. <laughs> you are going to do that. They got to fix that, man. It's so ugly. No! I worked it, too. No! It's still in. Nice. There was actually an animation for the goalkeeper to go down there, so that was good. Oh, <laughs> I needed to try that. Nah, bro. If he scored that, that would have been nuts. I should have tried to time that, eh? Maybe. That works. <laughs> that works, dude. Nice. I shouldn't have taken the touches, man. I should have just uh, taken the strike right away. Woo! Good run. A lot of passes are ridiculous. Great finish on a five-star weak foot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not going to be a long-distance shooter. Unless you give him a chemistry style that actually improves it a little bit more. Oh, the shot cancel there. <laughs> Get it? Oh, no. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Jonathan David card. So now that he's been updated, the card is 216K. Uh, I don't know if he's going to go up or down, to be honest with you, because you guys know me. I'm not like the transfer market guy when it comes to this kind of stuff. All I do is lose coins when I do player reviews. So it is what it is. Uh, but guys, with Jonathan David... I was trying him out on the basic chemistry style, which, to be honest with you guys, is not necessarily a bad choice for this card if you actually want to use him like that for a little bit of extra sprint speed, uh, the extra shooting, dribbling, passing. It's not a terrible choice, if I'm being completely honest, right? An engine chemistry style, you would give him if you really cared about the dribbling boost for that balance boost, right? That's something if you really, really cared about it. But for me personally, guys, on the finisher chemistry style, especially since he gets that shot power boost, it is very, very good to work with. But I don't think that the chemistry styles are going to be super linear. Like, there's definitely going to be different ones. You can see that people are going with different ones, depending on what they want to do in the game. Because obviously, since this card is a physical type striker, uh, you do want to improve his dribbling. I do think it's going to be important. But you want to improve the shooting with the dribbling as much as possible. So, guys, honestly... Even if it was a marksman chemistry style, even if it was a finisher chemistry style, uh, in some cases, people are giving him an engine. 
His base card stats for shooting is still in a pretty decent area, but to really work with that five star weak foot, making it as high as possible is going to be super nice to work with. Uh, attacking AI wise with the high, high work rates, he actually moves across the pitch really nicely. I like him more in a two striker formation, but as a lone striker, he does move well but you have to work with it a little bit more. With like with uh, players like Fakir and Flashback Benzema, I feel like they don't waste time when it comes to attacking AI on the pitch. With Jonathan David, it's a little bit different. Like You kind of have to wait for certain areas to open up. But uh, again, guys, a card like this, it's touch and go football as much as possible. It's get into the right area at the right time to score your opportunities because that five-star weak foot is absolutely massive to work with when it comes to a card like this. So I do think that this card is yet another transfer market card that EA have put out that is pretty cool. The difference of an upgrade uh, between his 84 and his 86 has been significant, right? So especially in the dribbling department with the plus twos, fours, and nines with that balance, uh, the shooting with the plus seven, eights for the acceleration, all of that has been um, obviously incredibly noticeable in the game, right? So on a finisher chemistry style, super enjoyable card. If you guys end up packing him as a first owner, it's a dope striker to use in my opinion. But remember, physical type striker, right? So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Oh, wait, the links. The links is the biggest thing with this card, man, because look, if you go with strong links, you got Bamba, you got... Wait, because he's... Oh, because he's a striker. Yeah, you got Bamba, you got Dejalo, you got Andre... You got Renato Sanchez. Honestly, dude, you get a Renato Sanchez on a rare gold and you're good to go because rare gold Sanchez is still a freaking monster nowadays. Obviously, this version is significantly better, but still, it's a, still a sick card in my opinion. In my case, I was using Bamba with him. I don't think Bamba's like crazy, obviously, but it's a great card to get for the links. Uh, you can provide him with uh, Jonathan David and stuff. How much does a card cost nowadays? 72k. He's definitely lower for sure. For sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, still a cool striker card. I enjoyed him for what it is. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.